what's up guys i'm akila welcome to my channel in today's video we're going to be talking about my hair uh i recently went to a hairstylist this was my first time like going for a professional cut with my natural hair well pretty much period because outside of my family probably i've only gotten my hair done by maybe two or three people in my whole life so this was big for me. Found this hairstylist located in Miami and she specializes in natural hair and she does braids, she does silk presses. She pretty much does a little bit of everything except relaxes because she doesn't relax hair anymore. I really had a great experience with her. Uh, I got a silk press with a extra steam treatment to help my hair stay straighter longer so we'll be seeing how that works out i recorded the experience and some of the steps that she took to get my hair to be like this like it's pretty straight and silky like she did an amazing job i got like probably like three to almost four inches of hair cut off because my hair wasn't as healthy as i thought it was it's like once your hair is in its natural curly state you don't really realize how bad it is like even though I was doing my own trims which I regret with my natural hair journey I was like transitioning out from like really damaged hair and one day I just took it upon myself to just cut off my damaged hair and I jacked it up like my hair was so many different lengths like she had to ask me if I had bangs you guys will see the pictures like I've always had this spot in the back that's like thinner than the rest of my hair so yeah like she kind of cut it to like even it out like she could have went shorter but she looked out for me and she didn't but it still looks pretty good in the back I'm going to go ahead and insert some of the clips of me getting my hair done. As I'm walking into the shop, um, the first step that she takes is to take before pictures. I take my hair out of my ponytail, we take some pictures, and we just go ahead and go right into the washing process. Um, I can't really tell you guys how many times she shampooed my hair because I feel like she does it as much as needed. So if your hair is pretty dirty, she will do it as much as she needs to until like she feels like it's clean. So she uses Biolage. When she rinses out my hair, she did a treatment, a steam treatment actually, is which is supposed to allow my hair to be straighter longer. Hair is like shrinking up and stuff. Uh huh. Oh yeah. Getting all frizzy and stuff. It's because mm -hmm. your cuticles are opening up. So then I can actually. After she does that and put a treatment on, she she finger detangles my hair and like sections it off, putting like twist in my hair. So like once she's blow drying my hair, she takes out a twist, blow dries it, and takes out another twist and blow dries it. So like she does everything in sections. She probably only after washing my hair used like two products, which was like a heat protectant and like some bio silk oil. From there, she just flat irons the rest of my hair. Um, one thing that she was very like strict on was to make sure she only does one pass per section. She doesn't want to go over it multiple times. Well, she shows me what my hair looks like currently after straighten it, straightening it and then she gives me a few options like she shows me like where I have like breakage and then she says like we could go here or we could go here and I chose the longest option <laughs> of course and I'm just gonna like try to grow my hair out from where it's at but we could have definitely went shorter I don't know I just gotta be a lot more careful with my hair than I already am like I do not play about my hair so like seeing how bad it looked it wasn't even that bad i've seen worse but to me that was bad like it hurt my freaking feelings like i was in my feelings after i seen that picture it just ruined my whole mood but between me cutting my own hair and breakage like it just looked a hot ass mess to me okay now it's time for styling and she uses the flat iron to give my hair a little bit of a bump. 
and she pin curls it all. She puts me under the dryer to let my curls set. After that, we wrap my hair back up and I go under the dryer again with the shower cap on. And then from there, we comb out the final results. I'm very happy with the way my hair turned out. Let's see if I could take it down. Today, it's now like, probably like three days out since I got it done. And I've pretty much just been wrapping it every night and this is what it looks like. Let me show you the back. Like, my hair feels like I gotta relax it. Like, that's how straight and silky she got it. When I tell you, it was so freaking hard to find a hairdresser. Like, Google does not help. So if you're looking for a natural hairstylist, do not try Google because that was like one of the worst things I did trying to look for a hairstylist. Like, complete waste of freaking time. Um, I typed in natural African-American hair, hair salons and I'm gonna just say in my area, I did not see anybody that was black on those listings. So I just took it upon myself to type in hashtag Miami Silk Press on Instagram. And I was lucky enough to find my hairstylist and it worked out pretty well for me. So if you're natural and you're looking to get a silk press, I suggest type in hashtag whatever city you live in, silk press and see what pops up and see what's close to you. And check out their page to see if their work is up to par. If you're located in Miami, I'm going to leave my stylist name and information in the drop bar. I will see you guys in my next video. So if you aren't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.